it's still possible to find your own personal private paradise in the Thai Islands. This is your ultimate guide to Cocoon. Kong Chow Beach here is considered to be one of the most beautiful beaches here on Kokud, and despite it being the height of tourist season in January, you can see relatively few people are out here enjoying the most beautiful beach. Despite being one of the largest, it's the fourth largest island in Thailand, the resorts are spread out around the island, so you don't get a high concentration of people in one area. And even this area, Kong Chow Beach, there's several high-end resorts, but there's also an ample amount of budget accommodations for the thrifty backpacker who wants to enjoy paradise on a budget. I have to say, I'm really impressed by the different types of environments that Kokud offers. Not only do you have the paradise white sand, blue water, but you also have some nice jungle adventures to check out, like the waterfalls. There's also several nature trails that looks like you can get a little bit off the beaten path. The one sort of drawback on the island is there's not really any mass transit. I mean, there are song towers that'll pick you up at the major port from where the ferry is, but after that, you can't really catch a Songtao in town to explore the island. You're pretty much relegated to renting a scooter. To rent a scooter, you're looking at around $8 a day. It was uh, 250 baht a day. A lot of the resorts offer kayak rentals and boat trips and snorkeling trips. However, there are plenty of areas to snorkel around the island. Just a matter of walking out on a rocky part like this and then jumping in. This peninsula right near Klang Hin Resort has several little secret hidden coves to explore good for snorkeling and just chilling out here with your own secluded cove. There's no one else here. This is a big one, and there are several other smaller ones around this rocky peninsula here. Definitely a hidden gem here on Kokud. If you like to snorkel or chill out in a secluded little cove with no one else around, definitely check out this spot near Kong Hin Resort. You can see though in the background, they are building another resort right there. So eventually, who knows if the access to this cove will be available. So enjoy it while you can. now to check out A.O. Frau Beach and actually I don't know anything about this beach but the drive-in looks definitely off the beaten path. The big resort here, there is access. Looks like an interesting spot. You can take boat trips up these rivers and also to snorkel spots. Yeah, another beautiful beach right next to a resort. When I first heard about Kokud, I was a little worried because I thought it might just be luxury resorts everywhere because when I first looked up accommodations, the initial things I saw were super expensive. However, there's plenty of budget accommodations as well. In fact, the place we're staying is $16 a night and includes AC, so I mean, you can't get a better deal than that. I mean, that's cheaper than what we were paying in Bangkok, especially to be on this remote paradise island to be paying $16, it's unheard of. We're not too far from the beach. Found a fruit smoothie, delicious mango, pineapple and watermelon smoothie here at the Chik Chom Fu is the name of this place. Found an awesome smoothie for 80 baht, so that's like 260, $2.60, $2.70 $2 here at Chik Chom Fu. And uh, we had breakfast here the other morning 
pretty decent prices here. The bare bottom prices you're gonna find on the island are like 60 for a veg fried rice and maybe like 70 or 80 for a pad thai and they just go up from there. I've seen them for double that. There are also some local places with cheap stuff as well, like this one. The other thing we found is that pretty much every restaurant we've been to has like a filtered water thing that you can refill your water bottle with, so no need to buy uh, plastic water bottles. Benbao Beach here on Koku, it's supposed to be the best snorkeling on the island. We actually parked our scooter at the Koku Resort there and just kind of walked down through the resort and then up this rocky coastline to this area. This north side of this cove here is supposed to be the best snorkeling. really like about Kokud's vibe so far is it's not too crowded. I mean, it's supposed to be one of the most beautiful islands in Thailand. However, it's not totally overrun with hordes of people. Right here next to the Neverland Beach Resort is a public access to this beautiful beach where people are paying resort prices to stay right on this beach but you can find much cheaper accommodations come down and enjoy the beach just like these guests paying the high prices that is not the case over the whole island however all beaches are supposed to be public land public access however some resorts are kind of restricting access to certain beaches if they have their property right up against the beach so it's difficult sometimes to find access, but there are plenty of beaches, at least right now, that have that access. You can see on the south side of the Neverland Beach Resort, which has that beautiful white sand beach, there's this rocky area with some good snorkeling, and actually there's a, a paved path that you can take further south which takes you to some other rocky coves with nice snorkeling. So the snorkeling here is not as good as Bang Bao, which supposedly is the best snorkeling on the island. Although I will say I saw plenty of sea urchins at Bang Bao and I haven't seen any here. So if you've never experienced the sting of a sea urchin, you might want to check that out at Bang Bao. However, if you have experienced the sting of a sea urchin and you're wary of snorkeling around a heavy area of sea urchins, I didn't see a single one here south of Neverland Beach Resort. So I'm walking now to Klong Han Beach, and this is kind of one of those situations I talked about earlier. There's access now, but uh, you can see a developer just put this paved road in, and the first building is going up over here. They've cleared a bunch of spots all along the ocean here, so the question is how much longer is there going to be access to Klong Han Beach? From what I understand, they're supposed to preserve public access. But this is the only road I know of that comes down here. It's the end of the day now, so a lot of people are leaving. But uh, I've come here the last couple nights for the sunset, beautiful sunset, over this little island off the coast here. And the beach stretches from around the, the bend over there all the way down. So it's a pretty sweet beach. super clear. I think this might be some of the clearest water on the island. I was out a little further, it was over my head, so it was over six feet deep, and I could still see all the way to the bottom, crystal clear. I mean, I don't know if it shows up on the GoPro from outside of the water. But this is some of the clearest water I've seen today. And, you know, even like the sun's not at its highest point, so it's not 
doesn't have the most illumination from the sun. Super clear. I wonder if it's, I think this area gets less boat traffic, which is funny because the boat's going by as I said that. Infamous.